So I was recently invited to speak at a couple of um, governance and board of directors conferences, and I'll be speaking at another one on the 9th of October here in KL to share my experiences from being both the CEO of a public listed company to being a non-executive director on other boards and chairing some boards myself. And board issues and leadership are very topical in Malaysia right now because a lot of the corporate boards are being revamped. So from my limited experiences, I find that while companies today want to be more agile and dynamic, the often rigid culture from the board at the very top sets the real tone and context. And it becomes very hard for management to adopt and become more limble when the board insists on a very structured process. Consider, for example, a state-owned investment fund where investment proposals have to go through an investment committee that meets only once a quarter, and oftentimes committee members insist on every proposal uh, where changes are required and they have to be re-presented and resubmitted, and often takes six to nine months to get an approval. In contrast, a global technology fund, uh, when evaluating the same investment proposal as the state-owned investment fund, goes from first meeting and first presentation to signing of an agreement and actual disbursement in only seven weeks. And this becomes a challenge for rigid cultures to catch up and be able to compete with organizations that have a much more nimble and fast moving uh, governance structure. And so consider, for example, an approach that takes a portfolio approach rather than insisting that every single investment have a perfect plan with all the scenarios mapped out and the contingencies planned out, but focusing on looking at it as a portfolio approach. And rather than focusing on the business plan, bet instead on the people who are going to lead the investment or the venture or, um, or the CapEx project. Because today in this fast moving, highly volatile and uncertain world, things are likely to not go according to plan. In fact, most plans are going to be redundant in a few months of it being launched but rather it's the people who are gonna lead them. Do they have the courage and conviction, uh, the humility to learn and the tenacity to keep going despite whatever changes that cannot be anticipated happens? So for the next couple of videos, I also wanna share uh, some thoughts and some 80-20 rules about how do we infuse more agility in today's boards.